Bro, she's that, so though. New York. She pulled up in the Tims, like. Stop yelling. <laughs> Last one to the airport buys breakfast. Buy breakfast. Day one, day one. different over there buddy your hair's looking a little shiny got some volume to it listen i know you're all thinking okay it's the do-rag from the da baby video but guess what it's not it's storm baby it's storm from plant made i mean look you've been using the you know the storm i've been using the drizzle you know what i'm saying i've been using the drizzle it keeps me hydrated moisturizing you know keeps the hair soft i'm about to go to throw back like i said so you know let's get it spicy up here it's gonna spicy and it's getting me right so for every time we work with a new partner, I do a little research first, and I went to the Plant Made website. I didn't see a bad review, okay? People love Plant Made. They got genderless and ageless products for all hair types, long, short, thick, thin, whatever it is. And dudes, too. Yeah, dudes, whatever, dudes. It's looking, it's looking. I absolutely love the way that it makes my hair feel. I feel fresh feel when natural. I get right. Nothing it feels good. Like, like too much weird stuff in your hair, bro. After a long day on set, nine, ten hour work day, I got all this hair product in my hair from these people fixing it. Whatever, I get in my dressing room, I take a shower, I get out, and I use the plant made, and I feel like a new person. Listen, they're a trusted company. Everything is handmade, vegan, and most of all, it's black woman owned. Now listen. This is for the listeners or the crew only. If you don't listen to the crew, this ain't for you. Get 15% off your online order by using the code CREW at weareplantmade.com. Again, this is not for anyone that doesn't listen to the Crew Has It podcast or isn't Coyle Ray, okay? The Crew Has It. Listeners are getting a very special deal here for Plant Made. Listen, there's no minimum spend required. It's not the club. They're not trying to hit you with the minimum tax. Yeah. We're not doing that. This isn't Starlets, okay? Yeah, but listen, do what you want. Go ball out. Buy the whole site. I, I encourage you to get the whole site. Everything on it is fire. It's going to have you feeling good, smelling good, looking good, all that. So go ball out. But you don't got to spend no minimum. But go ball out. Again, go to weareplantmade.com. Use the promo code CREW for 15% off your first order. Now... You know, now that we got your hair feeling all nice and silky, you could watch the episode while you, you know, rubbing. Oh, shit. <laughs> while you rubbing the hair, you know what I'm saying? It's looking shiny. So, yeah, back to the episode. See you soon. <laughs> all right, Mike. What we doing? What we doing, Mike? We, we, got, got, a, to we got a special guest here. Yeah. Today. We got yeah. someone going crazy viral right yeah, now. Yeah, you going crazy right now. <laughs> How's it feel, though? Bro, <laughs> nah, before you answer anything, you got Scarlet <laughs> yeah. in the building, man. Yeah. Big Scarlet in yeah. the building. But how does it feel right now? Like it, everything is, it's like, does it feel like it's happening fast? Like I do feel like I don't. Me personally, I don't think it's happening fast. But mm. everybody be like, "Yo, it's happening mad fast." Nah, it is because I like I've been seeing you on my TikTok for a while. Like you feel me? Like yeah. all the you know, like the re, like the previous stuff, like the glizzy gobble, all that stuff, like that. Yeah. <laughs> all that shit, yo, that shit used to be weak. So like I seen that, and then like you know. Everything else started coming after that. I'm like, yo, she's going crazy. Like, you moving. You moving. It's happening fast for sure. Thank you. Nah, it's happening fast. Bro, doesn't it feel like that sometimes? Or like, I hate, I don't like when people say that to me personally because they're like, you were like a, a, an overnight sensation. It's like, bro, I've been auditioning for six years and, and ten, getting told no, this and that. I've been acting for so long and been told no, no, no. So it, it's nothing's overnight about this. You know what I mean? Yeah. So it like, isn't because you obviously been putting in work. They this. say they say I blew up overnight, but nigga, I've been in the parking lot for seven years rapping. Yeah, yeah. Mm. holding glizzies, hot dogs, <laughs> foods. <laughs> that's that's <laughs> what I seen you. Yeah, that's, that's what I seen you. That's a fact. You know, there's a lot of work that leads up to all of this, but it's like. Once it happens, though, like the stuff that comes after that is, right. is kind of what yeah, comes in kind of fast. Play. It's like a snowball yeah. type thing. Yeah. You know I mean? So where did the glizzy? Where did that come from? Like, well, I we, we, just, we all know what it means, but like, what's what was the inspiration for it? Because like I was already rapping and shit, but I was like, I need to do something to go viral, like right. to get these people attention. Right, right. And I'm like, if I hold the glizzy up. Niggas gonna be like, that's sus. Like, <laughs> yeah. you know what I mean? So I'm like, yo, fuck like, it. I'm about to just hold up some shit. Like, cause I gotta go viral. You feel yeah, me? Right. Like, I just wanted to blow up on the internet for real. And right. You did that shit. Bro, that's kind of how you do it now. Like, it's weird. Like, that's your TikTok and your social media presence is almost more important than 
than the music to to an extent. And then you need to follow it up with like good tracks and like you need to like show people that you can do that. Like I went to school. Do you know who Jaleel is? He's he's a rapper. He's kind of like blowing up right now. I went to high school with him. And he, he yeah, was blown up by just doing backflips and the way his body looked. Mm. And he just got super viral and then all of a sudden started releasing music. And then mm. now his he's like... His music go crazy. His right music go yeah. crazy. Yeah. It's just almost as important at this point. It's kind of it's kind of wild like where the internet is going. Yeah. 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 You, so you felt like it was like a good tool for you to just really... Yo, yeah. I feel like TikTok really like TikTok. All social media helped me build a presence and a personality. At the end of the day, so like, even if I'm not rapping, my fans still gonna tune in to see like what I'm doing yeah, today, what you're doing and exactly. where I'm at, and you know, cause my fans be nosy. Yeah, they be, they be trying to see what's going on. <laughs> they right? mad nosy they in my just, business. They, like, they, they wanna know who my baby daddy is. They wanna know <laughs> everything. <laughs> Yo, y'all gotta chill. Don't watch that. <laughs> Feel me? She try to keep showing up. Oh. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. I watched this dude eat two glizzies on set yesterday. But... What are you talking bro, about? Bro, don't lie. Bro, bro, stop talking bro, like that. Bro, don't lie just because you're on the podcast. Bro, I saw you chill, eat two glizzies bro. at why work you, yesterday. Why you trying to embarrass me in front of my new friend, bro? Like, what's <laughs> up, bro? That's crazy. That's crazy. Yeah. So, so rapping, like, when, like, when did the music stuff you like? What what really inspired you with the music? I the always did like poetry. Like mm -hmm. I'm just a big poet. Like I just be writing in my room, shit like that. But like, what inspired me to do music is like you know I used to listen to DMX. I listen to music a lot. You feel me? So I'm just like I want to rap. I want to see how that feel. I want to be famous. Yeah. <laughs> I could tell you like a lot of music because. I was listening to some of your tracks, and you like you got like a song that's like a whole different type of genre. It's like um like a dance like party type of song. Like I forgot the name of it, but it's like it was completely different from. I think like, it's Lose Control. I think it's that. Yeah, I think yeah. it was Lose Control. Yeah, it's like completely different than what like you know what you. Yo, you know what? It's fire though because you versatile. Like it's lit. I got so much like stuff like they just know me from This Is New York, but like I got poems out like and then like different type of vibes, but now like. It's all going to come together. You yeah. feel what I'm saying? Right. That's kind of how it goes. Like, you have you have your viral song. You have the one that hit. And then they, when people go into your Rolodex and they start seeing what else you do, they're like... You got to oh, show them, like, yeah, right. I could do this too, nigga. But, you know, my first viral one was Glizzy Gobbler. Right. Mm -hmm. And then yeah. it was This Is New then it was York. This, right. This New York is that. Yeah, that's that one right there. <laughs> yeah. That's that one right there. But it's crazy, though, because you sound mad gangster on that. But when you talk, you mad so spoken. Like, you like... <laughs> you had nice and so spoken. You came here smiling. <laughs> Yeah. Everybody think I'm gonna just cut their balls off. Like I'm not gonna do that. I was prepared for it. I was like, "Am I okay in here?" I saw the Tims come in. I was like, "Oh shit!" <laughs> you had to get ready for yeah. the Tims. So, so what's up? Are people are people scared of you? Do do guys shoot their shot at you? Like, like, like what's 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 that like? She's like I Listen, I'm all, she like, yep. I'm she the nosy person in her business. Yeah. I'm like, so who's your baby dad? <laughs> Yo, guys love me. Mm -hmm. The guys on social media they're very scared of me, intimidated because I come. Off like some scary type shorty, but I'm actually mad, nice, sweet, and affectionate. Right. Yeah, that's yeah. crazy. She versatile. She could get gangster. She could get affectionate. You feel me? I could get sympathetic and emotional. Yeah. You get like that sometimes. She might. She could cry with you one day. I want to cry with you, lean on you, hold you. Rub your head. <laughs> Rub your head. <laughs> Wait. So, so where did you grow up? You grew up in. I was born in the Bronx, nice. and then I moved to Brooklyn. Nice. What part of Brooklyn? You... Coney Island. Coney Island. Oh, yeah, I be over there all the time. Yeah. Coney Island, man, across the street from the boardwalk. Yeah, yeah, I be right by the boardwalk. Like over there now. This is crazy yeah. over there. It is wacky yeah. over there. It's crazy, period. Yeah, it's crazy everywhere. It's crazy in here. Mike, do you know what time it is, baby? You know it is a manscaped summer. Duh, so, on. ladies, actually, you know, I was going to say stop listening, but if you want to gift your man something to keep his ball nice and smooth, get him manscaped. Yeah, okay? listen, it doesn't take much to, you know, to satisfy a man. Right, you it know, doesn't. All we need is manscaped. A little and head a massage, little, yeah. a little cuddle, a little manscape, and okay. some support. You know, yeah. just some support, and keep the toes white. But that's a personal. Thing. I like French tip personally, but you know, do what you do. No, do do French tip. Listen, all that to the side. It's time to tame your man. So say goodbye to your stubble trouble with Manscaped's Beard Hedger Pro Kit. The Beard Hedger Pro Kit comes with a cordless trimmer that has twenty different hair cutting lengths, all in one blade. Come on now, one guard. Plus. It's waterproof, so you could shave in the shower, in the pool, in the hot tub. You can avoid all that mess and just let it go down the drain. Why are you shaving in the pool, though? You never know. No. 
We got the titanium coated T blade that's tough on your hair but soft on the skin. No, keep it smooth. And it brings satisfaction one stroke at a time, unlike me. Listen, we got the beard shampoo and conditioner. Come on, shampoo and conditioner for your beard? And it's specifically designed to moisturize, reduce ingrown hairs, replace natural oils, and promote that beard health, baby. The kit also includes some beard oil, which makes that beard nice and moisturized. Listen, if I could grow a beard, I would use this product. But listen, I can't, so let's throw it on over to Michael. I mean, you know, it's coming. I think. I don't know. We'll see. But if it does, I'm definitely using Manscaped. Beard has a pro. Come on now. So get 20% off and free shipping at manscaped.com. Use the promo code CREW. We're helping you out, baby. 20% off, free shipping. You know I hate paying for shipping, so we're going to give you all that. Free shipping, 20% off, use the code CREW. Come on now. Back to the episode. So, so I saw in one of your interviews that you said that you um, initially wanted to be an actor. Yo, dead serious, right? When I was a little girl, I used to be on TV and be like, I used to watch TV and be like, I want to be on TV. I want to be on movies. That was my number one dream at first. I want to do TV. But you know, it's music. Right. But I wanted to do TV first. Right. In so my it's going to lead right into, right into the TV. And you got right. the personality for you. For me, you just... <laughs> right there. You got so, the presence for all that you could. Yeah. So what was, what was the stuff that you were watching growing up that you were like, this is like what I love. This is... I used to really watch Disney. Nice. Disney Channel, Nickelodeon. I used you to know watch- who we just had in here like previously was uh, was Kyle Massey from uh, Zoe 101. Did you ever watch that show? Uh-uh. You didn't watch Zoe 101? I did. I didn't know who Kyle Massey was, though. Oh, Chris. Chris Massey is his Chris brother. Chris Massey, the yeah. black boy? Yeah. That's my nigga. <laughs> <laughs> That's my nigga. <laughs> yeah, he was literally just here. We was chopping it up with him. Yeah. Like, all of that. Yeah. That's fire. So like what like what actors or actresses did you watch? Like, my favorite. Look, like I used to watch the Disney Channel, you know, Shake It Up. Mm-hmm. Shake It Up Zendaya. Mm-hmm. That's my favorite one. Shake it up I used to watch um, Sweet Life of Zack yeah, and Cody. That's, That's one of my yeah. favorites. Yeah. That yeah, and but, That's a Raven were the two were the t- my two favorites. Yeah, That's a Raven. Yeah, I didn't really watch I I didn't really watch That's a Raven that much, but I did love Raven. Right, because she had like this. You know what my favorite one was? What? Wizard of Waverly Place. Oh yeah, yeah. That one, I that love was, Selena right. Gomez. Shout out Selena yeah. Gomez, right? That that's was my girl. That was yeah. But my favorite actor of all times, is, so far, woman, Angelina Jolie. Yeah, yeah. yeah. she's my tough. favorite. I like her. Yeah, Who tough. that girl that played on Lucy? Lucy, 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 Lucy. Who played on Is Lucy? that Scarlett Johansson? That's who, that? not Angelina Jolie. Scarlett, sorry. Yeah. Yeah. Scarlett Johansson. <laughs> Scarlett Johansson. <laughs> That's who I like the yeah. most. Scarlett Johansson. Because yeah. everybody say Scarlett, but they think it's Scarlett, but it's really right, Scarlett. Scarlett. Right, right. Yeah, yeah okay, yeah. okay. Yeah. <laughs> so where'd, where'd the name come from? Like, what? Man, let me talk to you. Talk to me. You know, Scarlett, you feel me? Like, it's just my name, you feel me? Like, see, I got the scar on my lip, you feel me? Yeah. So it's like, yo, when I'm gonna call myself, cause I could rap and I'm a gangster, but I'm really chilling and shit. So as I think and I sit down in my room and I contemplate, I wanna rap and take over the world. Yeah. What should I call myself that could stand out? Scarlet. Tough. That's tough. Yeah. That's tough. Did That's you have tough. any other names that you were like before that? Or it was that, just that Scarlet. Was it. Yeah, that was just it. Scarlet. I started, I, I invented Scarlet in 2016. Uh, I invented Scarlet. How'd that happen? Or you don't, you... I mean, we could talk about... Well, basically, I got into like an altercation with my brother, and it left me like mm. fucked up in the and face. And you're like, I'm going to fucking... I'm going to use this to my advantage instead of letting it... Yeah. I'd rather use my scars. Like, a Embrace lot of people them. in this world, like, they go through tragedy. Right. You feel me? And they go through horrible situations in life. And it's like, some people just lose themselves. Right. Like, they just fall off the deep end. They fall off the edge. But I'm like, I'm just like... I'd rather like use what I went through as a positive, right. then use what I went through to let it be the fall of me. Right. So I'm going to use my pain as my strength. For sure. And so that's why I call myself Scarlet. But another thing is because people always want to like tease me and make fun of me. Right. Like all the time I see on Twitter, people be talking about me like, ew, look at her lip. Ew, um, look at her lip. It look messed up and stuff. And I just be like, bro, like I'm calling myself Scarlet because to own this. Right, because yeah, in one it. thing, I'm rather embrace it because it's one thing if I didn't call myself Scarlet, mm-hmm. then people, but I'm calling myself well, I'm Scarlet. I'm putting it in your face. Right. Like, yeah. yeah. 
That's just Damn, me. I wish I could call myself too short, but he already took it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> just embrace being five one. You know, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm I'm five. Tyreek, I got a question. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. Uh, Here yeah, we what, go. What Why are you always walking? Bro, look. <laughs> you look. never in a car for not, too long. You got to understand. Look, I'm trapping, right? But <laughs> it's a lot of traffic. You feel me? It's a lot of traffic. So if I'm trapping and I'm in the car driving and I'm aggravated by the traffic, you know, the play's not going to go too well. You know, I'm going to be mad. I'm going to be tight. You know, the negotiation might go wrong. Somebody might get shot. Why you cheating on Diana? <laughs> She's coming Diana, all my the... girl. Nah, see what? <laughs> see, look, the thing is, I'm not cheating though, cause, you know, we done, you know, we we had the conversation. I had a conversation with all. And them. why you trust Effie so much? See, the thing is with that. <laughs> see, the thing is with that now. Effie done been through the same thing as me. You know what I'm saying? She you know, know she had to grind. You feel me? But I ain't really had to do it. But I just did it cause I felt like it. But like at the same time, we just had that in us. Mm. Who do you love the most? Hmm. You know it's tough because he he lo- he Tariq love him for all different reasons. Who out of Effie, Diana, mm-hmm. and Lauren, mm-hmm. who do you love the most? I saw boom. Let me explain. To you right <laughs> I, now. Wait, let me cut you off. Mm-hmm. That was the most t- uh, Tariq, but also Michael answer ever. Yeah, I love them all for different reasons. Yeah, I'm trying to tell you. <laughs> look, look, look. I'm gonna tell you exactly why. Look, so boom. See, Reek, he got a lot of sides to him. You know what I'm saying? He got a lot of sides to him. He got the side that's kind of dark. You know. You know, that's kind of like, you know, that he embraced from his father, the bad parts of his father. And Effie kind of has those, like, dark qualities in her, too. So they relate on that, you know? So he kind of love her on that thing because they, re- you know, they relate. Now, Diana, it's also the same thing. You know, they kind of in the same business. But Diana don't really want to be in the business. But she's in it because she got to be. So they kind of different on that aspect. But she understands a little bit of the things that he go through. But he can't trust her because... He working with her mother, and you know, trust and work and business and present don't work. See, now with Lauren, that's like, he sees her like, damn, this is like, oh my God, this could be the wife. Like, she want to live a good life. She don't want to be in the criminal world. I could do this. I could keep her safe and be her man at the same time. And it's a little bit more difficult than it's, you know, than he, than he thinks it is. You know what I'm saying? So that's where he's at with it right now. It's tough for him. He's, he's going through the options, you know? She's like, fuck the podcast. I want to ask them questions about the show. I'm coming here for information. I want to know what the people want to know. Yeah, I'm trying. I got to ask for them. Yeah, I'm you trying to tell to, you. You have to. Honestly, ask all the questions you want to know. So you watch the show, obviously. Of course. What, so you, did you watch Power from day one or did you catch on a little I later? I always watched the Power like from when you was a baby. Right. And That's it was tough. like, yeah, like I watched it this whole time. Like, why are you so loyal to Tariq? Listen, man. <laughs> Why is so I loyal? feel like I'm Michael now. <laughs> Every listen, time I man. answer a question, I'm like, listen, listen man. man. Shit gets mixy, man. It gets mixy, but uh, that's my brother. Him. You know, that's that's my only family now. I love how we talk like we're the characters. We're like, <laughs> like, listen, I do this because the writers wrote it. But I'm gonna tell you actually why. Um, no, that's that's just my brother. You know, like I don't. Brayden doesn't have any like family that he feels he connects with. You know, and when he first. It was weird because season five, when I came in, I was wearing like Abercrombie, like, you know, on the show. So I come in and then once we had our interaction, the writers were like, no, actually, that's not right for this character. This character, once they met me and saw what I did, they're like, this character should be um, with Tariq, not against Tariq. Because initially we were going to be roommates and then it was only one episode, but they they made it like us not to be a teen. It was like, oh, he's the rich white kid and he's, you know, they, they're not going to get along. Um, but then once they saw like our interactions, I came back episode, uh, uh, season six and I was in all off white and I was like, Oh, I, okay. All right. <laughs> We're on the same side now. Yeah, we Gucci that. <laughs> so, so yeah, but he, I, I guess, yeah, just Brayden just doesn't have uh, any, any family that he really connects with. You know? Brayden loyal, man. Yeah. Yeah. Brayden loyal. You- so, so at the end of power, did you, did, were you like, Oh, like when they said that the show was going to be about him, were you, were you hating on it or were you on board? When I when they said about him, yeah, when, I, when Ghost came out and he was gonna be the lead, we were like, "Fuck no!" We love them? it. We love Tariq. We e- watch it. even we're after like, even after we, the end of season six, after he killed Ghost, you were team. Oh yeah, I was team you because Ghost was a wasn't Ghost a, a fucked up dad. Wow. And I hate my dad. So. Wow. <laughs> he a wow. He a He was bugging though. Look, he was trying to send Tariq to jail. He was trying to send mommy to jail. Like he just wanted to be on top of the world while everybody else was just in jail. And Tariq wasn't going for that. He's like, Nah, I ain't going to jail. And you not sending mommy to jail. So you gotta go bye bye. 
He just did what he had to do. But mommy still ended up going to jail, but we took care of that. Man. Yeah. But so then, we'll get into some stuff with you, but also throughout the interview, if you um, have any questions, because I know you want some power answers, so that's fine. We'll answer. You can just throw them out there if you think of any. But what? So what was your first time meeting 50? My first time meeting 50 Cent was in the club. Nice. You could find me in a club. <laughs> <laughs> and I was new, you know, like I was new just getting involved, like, in the music, you feel me? What, I, you know what I mean. Right, right, In the right, music yeah. and shit. So, you know, I'm just a fan at that point. Like, I'm just like, yo, I got to see if I get next to 50 C. Like, I need an opportunity, you feel me? And, like, it was just really nice because he was mad cool. Like, you would think some people would just be, like, rich and they'd be, like, on some fly shit or, like, too good for people. He really for the people. Nah, like, nah, 50, uh, he really nah, for the yeah, people. Yeah, he's he, mad cool. Nah, he's he literally love. the best. He showed me love and yeah. gave me a shout out. Yeah, he yeah. showed love. And I, I saw that the, the This Is 50 That's page tough. was all posting that This Is New York and all that stuff. So you met him prior to This Is New York or after? No, I met him not prior. It was after This Is New York came out. Yeah. Yeah. And then he w he knew who you were and he knew your music and all that stuff. Yeah. And did he give you any advice? Because he's given us yeah. hours of advice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, man. Like, I had a whole dinner. Oh, that's oh, fire. oh, tell us about it. I was sitting at the table with 50 Cent. That's tough. <laughs> that is tough. That's tough, man. But, like, the experience was, like, surreal. Like, at the same time, man, the shit wasn't even planned. So I just got notified, like, hey, yo, come to this dinner with 50. Like, it was an opportunity. So I'm sitting there. My hair, my wig not done, my makeup not done. I had to put on a do rag. I'm looking ghetto as fuck, <laughs> but I don't give a fuck. Right. Like I don't care how I'm, I'm gonna go. I don't give a fuck. I'm yeah. going to sit there with yeah. that nigga. You feel me? <laughs> <laughs> but like, he was mad cool. Like I just told him, I said like, yo, I'm inspired by your story. Cause you remember Get Ready to Die Trying, and he was like, you know, that's your story now. And he was just like, telling me what to do with my news. This is New York, like. You know, put it out there, promote it, grind, be at every every function, like just do what I gotta do right. to be where I gotta go. Right. And you know I'm a fucking listen to fifty yeah, years. Yeah, for sure. Like, he took that advice, for sure. that advice and ran with it. Who 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 were some of your inspirations growing up? Was fifty one of them or like fifty well, fifty was an inspiration, but like my really big, big inspiration was DMX. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Yeah. yeah DMX yeah. was my best. I see you got the Tim's on, so rest in peace to do, man. Rest in peace rest to DMX. Rest in peace to DMX, man. man. Yeah. It's my nigga. So is like who who is like a list of any female rappers that you grew up listening to or Yeah, so DMX I definitely was listening to. For sure. Lauren Hill. Mm -hmm. yeah, she's I used to. Fire. You ever watch Six Sister Act by Lauren Hill? Sister Act. When she was a singer. Nah, I never seen it. It's, it's a movie. It's a movie. It's right? a good yeah. movie. It's yeah. really good. My mom used to listen to Lauren Hill a lot. Yeah. yeah. I've been listening to a variety of music, yeah. man. So do you only listen to like R and B and hip hop, or do you, are you into like any any other type of style? Yo, of music? I've been listening to Billie Eilish a lot. Oh, nice. Really? She's tough. Nice. She's, she's tough. so tough. She's like, tough. She's <laughs> tough. yeah, she's hard. Yeah. I love Billie. I gotta tune in. I gotta tune in. Yeah. I haven't heard of Billie Eilish song. I, I, you you definitely have, bro. They, I might have, but like bro, I didn't know. Anytime yeah. you ever in the she's mall, viral, yeah, yeah, yeah. Anytime you ever in the mall, there's Billie Eilish playing on the mall. Sure. <laughs> H and M and shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's OD. Listen, these streaming services they be violating. They be having y'all play full price. And they're only giving out, like, what, 65% of their catalog. It's like the ocean. You know how they say we've only ever explored, like, 4% of the ocean? Think of Netflix as the ocean and, and and then basically not letting you see any of it. ExpressVPN got you covered, though. ExpressVPN got you covered. You can use a VPN that says you're in a certain location, and then you get to see all the titles from where that is. It's a game changer. Listen, our camera guy just told us he was trying to watch Mad Men last night. But he couldn't because, what, they took it off the, the U.S. servers yep. and it's only on U.K. servers? Yep, they took it off U.S. Netflix. So we told him, download ExpressVPN, baby. They got you covered. You can literally just log in, ExpressVPN, and you can get access to all these titles that we don't have in the U.S. What you do is you log in to ExpressVPN. You pick whatever server you want to go to, U.K. You could be in Canada if you feel like it. You could be in, you could literally be anywhere in the world. Wherever you want to be, you log in. Pick wherever you want to be, and that's where you are. That's where your phone thinks you are, and you can watch whatever you want. Dude, it's like a mini vacation. Listen, I use ExpressVPN because it's literally the best VPN service out there. It's better than every other one. It has blazing fast speeds. I watch HD things without any buffering. Dude, I've literally seen you at the crib. You got everything going at once. Not a slip up, not anything. It all works smoothly together. Yeah, pro you know, everything is valid. And it's good on any device, phone, laptops, PS5, Xbox, smart TVs. You can use ExpressVPN on all of it. Listen, be smart 
Stop paying full price for these streaming services while they're only giving you half of what they got. Get ExpressVPN. Get access to all of that. Go explore. Get your money's worth at expressvpn.com slash crew pod. Don't forget to use my link, expressvpn.com slash crew pod. <laughs> Apparently it's his link. I you mean, know our link. I our have link. my own link too, okay? I'm going to be over here in Germany because I like the German girls. That's where my ExpressVPN is going to be. All right. That's fine. Yeah. Where's I'll go to the UK. Be? You're going to the UK? I'll be in the UK. All the UK girls love you anyways. Again, that is expressvpn.com slash crew pod. Get an extra three months. Go crazy and do what you please. I spit all over the microphone. I really did. But you know what? That's how passionate I am about German television. Back to the episode. <laughs> so um, so when when this is New York happened, so did Cardi B shout you out before that or, or after that? No, bef- after that. After this is New York. Mm-hmm. So what? So explain how that happened. Did she retweet you? Like, like what was... All right, so... This is how it happened. Let me tell you how it happened. <laughs> I'm a, you know, like, I told you I'm a fan first. Right. So I'll be me, like. Us too. Us too. I'll be like stalking these people. <laughs> like, I'll be stalking them, but right. like, I'll be like on them, like right. reposting them, like shouting them out, like discovering me like, mm-hmm. Cardi B, I love you. You're my favorite rapper. Da, da, da. Right. And so she responded. And like, how did she respond? I think she reposted me. I was getting ready to go to the Met Gala after party, and she saw me in my dress and on the neighborhood talk. Shout out to the neighborhood talk. They posted me, mm-hmm. and then she reposted it. She was saying, she said, "I love her." That's and fire. when she said she loved me, the whole house went crazy. <laughs> I started screaming, running around the house. I was like, "Cardi B just reposted me. <laughs> Cardi B, we made it out the hood. <laughs> I was like, we That's made it tough. out the hood." That's crazy. That's fire. So, yeah. so is she someone that you really want to make music with, or like? Yeah, who, I gotta who? make some shit. Yeah, yeah, I really want to. Make music with Cardi B. Yeah. That'll be tough. That'll are you, be you are you working on an album right now or like what what's my album's next? almost done? Oh. It's almost done. My singles are done. Your singles are done. <laughs> Niggas be like Scar needs to that. Michael. I'm not talking to Tyreek. I'm talking to Michael. <laughs> you how you watch my shit so you know what I do like how I've been working and. How I've been keeping myself relevant. So when people be like, oh, she not da da da, y'all niggas is dumb. <laughs> like, I'm gonna yeah. be where I gotta go. Yeah, like, exactly. exactly. Like 50 say, you gotta do what you gotta do to get where you wanna go. <laughs> exactly. You know, like, the longevity, you know? Yeah. Are, are there are there any big features on the album yet? Or can, can you talk about, like, yo, some, some all of these features are manifested. It's not real yet. I just put it, so I write in my notebook and I write the song in a feature of the name. And I just be like, these are the, this is my album. These are the people that's going to be on it. They're not on it right now, but eventually they're going to be on that shit. Right. they going to be on it. Right. These yeah, niggas going to film me. <laughs> <laughs> they going to film you. That's fire. So is it going to be this year or is it going to be next year, you think? like when, when Oh, you, this year. My, this year? Al- my album is definitely going to come out this year. Mm-hmm. I'm... Yeah, my album is definitely gonna come out this year. Yeah. So since you started rapping and stuff, you got you you know you got shows and stuff. Now, what was what was like? What was your first performance? Like, oh yeah, yeah. What, like what my, first first your first in, mm-hmm. in mm. my first performance in ever in life. That was like 2018. I performed for this music art thingy. Mm. Yeah. It was fire. Did you? I think? was mad scared. I was shaking and I was nervous and shit. But you but you did your thing though. Yeah, I did my thing on that. Mm-hmm. I didn't have no music. I was doing poems at the time. Oh, okay. So when was like your first like ever performance? Yeah, for music, like yeah. Or like, what would you, what would you remember your like your first lit performance as? All right, so my first performance, right? I did this show in Pennsylvania, and I I wanted all my friends to support me. You know, because everybody said they supported me. I went to the show, and only like three people came. That was my first performance. Damn, was it tough or you were just like, I'm going to rock this bitch anyways? I was sad, but yeah. you know what? My foster mom came to support me. That's love. And then it was just like, why come none of my friends came? Like, no, nobody came, but it was like, I did it. I bet you they come into that shit now, huh? Yeah, yeah. bro. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yo, let me get this. Yo, I need tickets to this. Uh. Like, it was this girl that did my hair. She used to always do my hair, right? And then I was hitting her up to do my hair before my song blew up. I'm like, yo. And she would text me back and be like, yeah, we could, we could come. Then I'd text her again and be like, is we going? Am I able to come? She won't respond. Three days, three days in a row. She ain't responding to me. She stopped talking to me. 
Now, last week, this bitch blowing up my phone, talking about, oh, girl, when, when you going to let me do your hair? Nah. When you going? I'm like, We're not what? doing that. Yeah. We're not doing that. <laughs> nope. Nah, nah. We're Something not just that. like. Too late, brother. Has, has, has that happened a lot? Has a lot of people been hitting you? Like, because we went through that too. Mm-hmm. Like, a, a lot of people hitting you up, being like, "Oh, remember?" Like, does that happen or? Yeah, that be happening a lot. I be giving niggas the benefit of the doubt. I give people, I always give people second chances and shit. Yeah. But they just fuck up a lot. Yeah, fuck them, yeah. fuck them. Because they just not meant to be. Yeah, that's life. just not what it is. Yeah. Or... Hey guys, how you doing? My name is Chef Gianni. My name is Chef Mikael Myers. Wow, he's being a little uppity with it. Um, I'm a HelloFresh expert at this point, yeah. so I go by Chef now, and now I want my name when the crew has to start to say Chef Gianni Paolo host. I'm not gonna lie, I think I need that title too, yeah. bro. I've been switching it up, like I've been taking like ingredients from one like one dish and then like putting it in the other dish, and I'm like doing like a little Whoa. something something. You're going against the grain, huh? Uh, you know, I'm mixing the flavors. But that's the best and I'm part. I'm creating new ones. Right, that's the best part is they give you all the ingredients. They give you, you everything you need, and then you could just. <laughs> bro, honestly, I think I've saved probably like five, ten bands this month just by not going out to dinner with girls, just by cooking at home. I think I think I might have done the same thing. Listen, I'm honestly terrible at grocery shopping, bro. I'll probably leave the supermarket with $300 worth of, like, candy, cookies, and juice, and all type of nonsense that I don't I've seen it. I've seen it, but here's the thing about HelloFresh. They deliver farm-fresh ingredients right to your table within seven days. Yep, they've been keeping me, keeping me right. Sorry about that, Ray, that was just on Michael just there. We're exhausted from podcasting all day long, and you want to know why I am so happy is because... I don't have to go to the store right now and go pick up groceries. We've been working all day long. You know what's going to happen? I'm going to go home. My HelloFresh is going to be sitting there waiting for me. I'm going to look at the entire ingredients, the whole thing, and I'm going to cook it. It's going to be beautiful. Every week, it's a list of 40 different recipes. You'll never get bored, bro. You got so much to try. When you need dinner fast, and boy, I am hungry. I need it. Do not think delivery. Think Hello. Fresh. You know, there's no service fees. There's no all this BS that's added on to it. It doesn't, oh, did you drop it here? Dro- Hello Fresh right to your door. The fast and fresh recipes are ready in just, what, 15 minutes? 15 minutes. And it's 25% cheaper than takeout. <sighs> Listen, go to HelloFresh.com slash Crew50. Use the promo code Crew50 as well. And get 50% off and free shipping. And free shipping. Again, that's HelloFresh.com slash Crew50. Use the code Crew50. And get 50% off. 50, 50, 50, 50, 50. Back to the episode. <laughs> <laughs> but back to performances, though, because we see you at the BT Awards. How was that? Yo, that shit was mad nourishing. <laughs> somebody was like, somebody was like, why she still on stage on um, fucking up this show? Because I performed, but then I stayed. Yeah, you was chilling. You did your I shit. I was rocking back and forth yeah. and shit. But that's because they told me to stay. Yeah, yeah, you was doing your shit. You did but your it was thing. really fun. That shit looked fire. Yeah. That the was... people were standing up for me in the crowd. Yeah. It was, was a lot of money in that room. Word. A lot of millionaires is in there. Yeah. W- w- was, it, uh, was that your, probably the most nervous you've ever been uh, for a performance or now? Yeah. Yeah? Summer Jam and now. Nice. Summer Jam. Not Summer Jam. I wasn't nervous for Summer Jam. Because yeah. it's New York. That's your, yeah. that's your shit. The BT Awards, I was nervous. Yeah. Because it was just too much people. Like, it was too much. I was like, oh, my God. Yeah. So what are some goals for you that um, that you want to hit? Like, is it is it an award uh, like that path? Is it more like I want, I want um, you know, fan love? Like, like what is I want to, I want, I want to make hits. Yeah. Not like I want to just make hits, yeah. and like I just want to do shows where like it's thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands and yeah, thousands of people in a crowd. festival, yeah. a crazy festival. Story. I want to win awards, yeah, all that. Be on TV, yeah, all that. I just want to be big, yeah. Hell yeah, I love that. <laughs> are, are are you doing any acting stuff? Are you starting to get into any of it, or you're just focusing on the music right now? Oh no, I'm open to do everything. Nice. Yeah. And you got the the social media presence, so like that's what they're looking for in the acting world too. Like that's very important when they looking for people to cast like your social media presence. They can make like, a story about me. Not word. A movie about me. you know Literally. what I told Fifty Cent? Yo, yo. I said Fifty Cent, you should make a movie about my life. Word. He's giggled. <laughs> <laughs> he giggled. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's <laughs> he's mad boy. 
But that though, no funny shit. That'll be that's a because you have a great story. You know what I'm saying? That's a good story to you know to to build on. But what the fuck was I just about to say? I just, bro, I'd be blinking. I, I know. I just I just think everybody like me personally like everyone just wants to see you win. Like you just you're just like you just seem like a good hearted person. You know who's been through some shit but like turned it into like good and I I, I think like. You go through some shit at the time, and you're like, why the fuck is this happening to me? Like, you know, like, what did I ever do to the world? And then at some point, you're like, oh, this is why, you know, I, I'm I'm meant to help other people. I'm meant to do this thing. Meant to inspire um, other yeah, people. Yeah, there, there's like a higher being for me. Because there's also people out there that have been through the same type of stuff that you've been in, and they see you go through that and then rise to what you become now. They're like, right. damn, I could... I could do this too, like that. And then they see you at the BET Awards on stage a little too long, and like, damn, that's (laughs) really (laughs) cops. This is where it ends. (laughs) (laughs) This is where it ends. Slow down. (laughs) So, like, who's like a dream feature? Like, like, like you could get anyone on your song, or or like the top three artists you could get on a song. Like, you you want to round them up for a fire track on your on your album? Who you getting? Three artists. DMX. Mm -hmm. Eminem. Why did I say DMX? Well, it could be dead or alive. Yeah, it could be yeah. dead or alive. Okay, um, let me do it again. What's that nigga name? <laughs> I just said this nigga name. What's this fucking name? <laughs> Eminem. <laughs> All right, Eminem, Billy Eilish, and Cardi B. Yeah. Those are the three top people I want to collab with right now. Yeah, that's fire. Yeah, Eminem is crazy. You would put all three of them on one song? Mm-mm. Nah? Me and Cardi got to make something strictly for the hood. <laughs> Facts. That's a tough one. I ain't going to lie. What kind of music would you make with, with Billy? Do you like have... Oh, we going to make some some heartfelt... So... She's the she's a fucking queen. Yeah. Billy Eilish, if you're seeing this, Scarlet love you, girl. Keep doing your thing. <laughs> I really do like her, bro. Like yeah. When I was really in... De- when I was depressed, when I was in deep depression... I used to listen to Billie Eilish all the time. So she helped like you through a lot. She got me out of a lot of shit. She helped you through a lot. See, and that's what you, that's the same thing you're doing for people now. You feel me? You're in the position you're in. That's the same you know thing what I love that I'm able to do now? Mm. One of the beautifulest things, like, I talked to the foster kids mm. and, um, at Walt Disney. Mm. And, like, that just was really fun to speak to the, the foster children mm-hmm. that's just like me. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because, like, I got three months ago, I got out of the system. Just three, wow, months, just ago? three months ago? Yes. Wow. And then, like, I was able to talk to the people that I was just there. So it, was, it meant a lot to me. Yeah, that's a big, that's a big accomplishment right there. Like, yeah. that's a big thing. I mean, I assume we probably have a decent amount of, you know, fans and people that listen to this podcast that are in the, you know, in the system, at, at, you know, or was in the system at some point. Um, do you have any advice for, or what advice did you give? the kids that you talk to. I would just, like, give them advice, like, you know, like, let them know, like, you're not alone. Right. And, like, sh- it seemed hard, but it's going to make sense. Right. It's going to make sense. Like, when you in it, you feel like you're never going to get out of it. Right. But if you, like, if you just stay consistent, you keep going, no matter what, no matter how hard it get, you just withstand it. Right. Mm-hmm. It's going to all make sense. Right. But you can't stop, because if you stop, then it all stops. Right. But if you keep going, shit is bound to work out. Like, you feel me? Like, it ain't going, like, it might take a year, two years, seven years, ten years. But shit going to work out. Right. Stay resilient, man. Stay resilient. Gotta stay on it. Gotta right. stay on it. What what got you through like those times when when you were when you were there? Was it uh, like mostly doing poetry, poetry and mu- yeah, videos? Yeah. Doing my my fans kept me going. To, yo, yeah. nigga, <laughs> I was in hell, my nigga. I was yeah. in hell, yeah. real life. Yeah. yeah, but like my fans, you know why I was in, bro? I was doing it for seven years. Yeah. Right. So while yeah. I was in there, I was doing it. Right, right, right. Doing my vids while I was in foster care and shit like that. They kept me going. Like I just was going, kept going because it was like that was the only thing I had to do in my life. Right. That was my only option. Right. Like I'm just doing TikTok, doing vids. My life, I gave my life to it. Right. You feel me? Like that was my life. That was my day. That was everything. Just consist of that. So what you get from like like the people like just having the people laugh, like having the the ability to make people laugh and just like react to your, your funny your funny crazy. It shit. feel good because it's like I feel cool. Yeah, I feel like I fit in somewhere. Yeah, yeah. like my fans make me feel like I fit in. Right. You're cool. Yeah, you mad cool. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
back. Yeah, you back, cool. cool. Where are my mother? <laughs> this my this my new friend. <laughs> were were you like uh, in school? Were you a little bit like a class clown, or were you quiet? Or... Hell yeah, man! Yeah. I was a class clown. <laughs> I was oh, always fucking you? up. Oh, some Swipe five guys? Swipe out. <laughs> Thank you, brother. Thank you, brother. You, you, you were a class clown? Yeah, I was yeah. a class clown. The teach At the lunch rooms in school, at, um, in high school, the lunch tables, you know how they have cameras in the lunch table? Yeah. And the cameras? Why come the principal office, every time I was at lunch, had the camera on my table? Her, her screen was my table. Really? We was the bad table. Yeah. <laughs> Y'all was like, raising hell? We was raising hell. Yeah. It was fun, though. Yeah. It was fun. <laughs> we was knocking bitches out they boots. <laughs> we was fucking niggas up. What? Y'all was on that. We yeah. was on that. that. That was the ghetto, the ghetto bitch table. There was some bad bitches in that table too, yeah. <laughs> but we was just we just ruled that shit. Yeah. Do you still talk to some friends from high school or yeah? Yeah, I still talk to like two. Nice. And do they like support you and come to shows and? Yeah, they support me, but these bitches got kids now. Yeah. So they be having kids and shit like that, but they support me. Yeah. I fuck with them. Yeah. Some bitches be talking about me as if they don't even. Know. Let me not. <laughs> Cause I know some people in real life, like yeah, right. you know what I'm saying. Yeah. Like I know the real you, <laughs> right? I know the right, real you. Right. Don't talk too crazy. It'd be like right. that sometimes. Um. So so when you were in school, you you were writing music like like and throughout the whole time, like as your TikToks were going viral. What was what was the reactions of the kids in school and also the people like in the foster home? Were they like? Like, did they think it was weird? Did were they like supportive? Like, I'm so curious, like, what that's well, like. Well, niggas, like, well, in my, when I was in like PA, right? Cause you know, look, and this, let me clear this up. People like, what's it you living in PA? Da, da. Nigga, you could be from New York and be somewhere right, right. for a shorter time. Nigga, if you in foster care, you jump around. Right. So don't say nothing like that. Right. Yeah. Nah, you from New York. <laughs> I'm from, from New York. New York. Yeah. <laughs> like, <laughs> but niggas was really not really like rocking with me. They was like. Niggas in your community don't really be fucking with you like that. Like mm. they didn't really believe in it mm. until they, they until they until seen it, it start happened. going crazy. Then now they want to be now on they it. believe in it. Too late. And they partner. were just like, oh, she. Let me tell you something. This is my godmom, right? She lives in PA, right? In my neighborhood. I used to. This is a real interesting thing. Every day, you know what a ring light is. Mm -hmm. Every day, right? I used to have my ring light. And I used to walk in the, um, the parking lot and make my vids, right? And it was this one boy. We used to always get into it. Every time he'd be like, ah, you out there making TikToks. Like, get out of here. Holding that ring like, like just clowning me, clowning me, right? I used to tell my gum, I'm like, yo, I'm tired of these niggas keep talking shit about me in that park, yo. Like, I ain't about to keep dealing with this. Right. She was like, stop worrying about them. Just focus on yourself. Just focus on yourself. Keep doing what you're doing because where you going and what you about to do for yourself, they don't see it. Right. And I was just tight. I didn't understand at the time. Tell me why I visit like, a couple weeks ago, I went back to visit my grandma in the Mercedes Benz. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. okay. Yeah. And then yeah. I drove past the same boys mm -hmm. that was talking smack about me mm -hmm. and clowning at me. Mm -hmm. And guess what they were saying? What? Back the fuck up. <laughs> Move the, the fuck wow. back. Yeah. I'm like, oh, so now. Nah, niggas want to sing my shit. <laughs> Bro, <laughs> I got goosebumps. That's fucking that's fire. Good, yo, that's dead, got dead ass got goosebumps. Bro, I love shit like that. No, because people will hate on you yeah. until they see it's cool to support you. And then they're like, oh, yeah. I was with you the whole time. Nah, like, fuck out of here. here. They gonna sing that shit though. Yeah, yeah. Gonna sing that, shit, that shit's though. crazy. Yeah. How things on, switch like that. You pulled up on them in the Benz though. A uh, fucking Benz that nobody else has. Whoa. Oh. Wait, which one is it? We were car guys. I don't know too much about it. <laughs> I know it's something it's fire, nobody though. got. <laughs> it's fire though. <laughs> and you be whipping that shit. Yeah. <laughs> so, do you have any advice for people who, like, like, what was your um? Uh, your strategy to go viral like do you have any advice for people one thing i'll say is do what nobody else is doing well i did the most outrageous shit to go viral right like i had to say crazy things the first five seconds you got to catch their attention right mm -hmm. don't not, make it's the over. it's over and don't make the vids too long when you're doing your tiktok right you want to keep it to 30 seconds the first five seconds got to be I grab her, attention snatcher. Then you got to just carry it on. All right? Now, what I did was that, like I said, I was holding glizzies, talking about swallowing glizzies. 
<laughs> but I'm a rapper. Right. So I got to say some sus shit. Right. And then hit them with the bars. Yeah. Right. And it just works. Like, That's kind of what I do. Yeah. Because they, <laughs> <laughs> they hit, they be like, what the? And then I'm, they be like, oh. oh yeah, oh, she got about. bars. Yeah. She a little sus, but. <laughs> It's spitting. It's spitting though. It's spitting. <laughs> but she's but... spitting though. Yeah. Yeah, man. That's, I'll a be good, ho- that's a good strategy though. Hold up nuts and talk mm. about hype. Man. I was holding up everything from oh, and remixing shit that's like hot mm-hmm. at the moment. Like Munch was high. I was yeah, doing yeah, yeah, remixes. That. <laughs> you seen that one? Yeah, I see that. I did mad shit, bro. I did my shit to just get just keep on going, but really people started fucking with me because of my poetry. Yeah. So everything else was just they just stuck with me because right. they fucked with me. Yeah, because the poetry stuff was more serious. Yeah. Like the poetry stuff was serious and like kind of showed what you know what your talent was and what you had, and then the other stuff was to catch the attention of the other people, and then it kind of all comes together. Yeah. Yeah. How, how many different places did you live? Like you lived in PA. And I lived New York? in detention centers, group homes. In in New York or PA other places? And New York. Oh, PA and New York. Why was it? Why was Pennsylvania? Did you have like someone there, or just that's how it worked out? I just went with my foster mom, Miss Nikki. I right. went to Job Corps as well. Mm-hmm. And yeah. she and uh, do you still? Are you still with her today? Like Miss Nikki, she's yeah. so proud of me. No, yeah, that's so, that's probably such a. She great story loves me so her. much. Yeah, she's she's probably, white. She's a white lady too. Right. <laughs> I'm like her child. That's yeah. why. Yeah. She yeah. looked at me. She's like, <laughs> like um, "Would you, brother?" <laughs> <laughs> with you, it's like she's what you guys ain't all that bad. Y'all ain't, y'all ain't that bad. I'm with you. <laughs> <laughs> oh God, yo, she's funny, bro. We need you on this shit permanently. <laughs> Scar, what you got to say about that? <laughs> yo, that was bad. Place. Oh, you, she loved me for real. Yeah. Mm. So wait, so how did you how did you like meet her and then? I met her in Job Corps. Uh huh. You know, I met her in Job Corps. But I went, I went back to my family though. But like my family didn't want me and her to be together, cause they wanted to like separate us. Like because she didn't want me to. She somebody cares about me. Right. Oh no. You know when people like I have somebody that care about me now, and you just want to mess it up because you don't want nobody to care about me. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And you and you missed your chance to. Care and you about missed me. your chance to care about me. But me and Miss Nikki, she. She like that's the woman that like is a mom to me. Shout like she's Nikki. my mom. Shout out Miss Nikki. Yeah, shout out her. Yeah. yeah. You said you talk to her like all the time. All the time. She always see me on. She would see me on Instagram. You know, I might have her come around sometimes. You know, yeah. but I try to keep her out of like all the crazy my busyness in my life. Just stay over there, Miss Nikki. When you need some money, just let me know. Like, <laughs> oh, you know what I'm but isn't that such a good feeling? That's so beautiful. Isn't bro. that such a good feeling? Like she helped you out when you needed it, and then now I like... didn't have nobody, bro. Right, right. She was. You can't forget about people that was there for you when you didn't have nothing, bro. Right. You can't. Because these niggas, they, you wouldn't be where you was if these people that seen it in you and helped you through it, those are God sent people. Right. You can't shit on people because you think you got up or you got money. The shit could change in a second. For sure. Quick as you, you gotta got be it. real to the people. Same right. speed, you gonna lose it. Yeah. Do Do you still talk to your family now, or you're just like you, you do your own thing? I don't fuck with them niggas. Yeah. I should bust at them niggas. <laughs> I don't know if I'm supposed to say that. <laughs> you can say when she's looking at her team like that. that. <laughs> she's like, oh. <laughs> no, my family though, like they they would just be telling my brother because you didn't remember the you know my brother. Well, you don't know my brother, but <laughs> I made a vid with my brother because we went to see my mom uh-huh. at her like site or whatever. Mm-hmm. But like, they just when I was rapping before I blew, they'd just be like, oh, you don't want to end up like your sister. Don't follow your sister. Just talking down on me, oh, she ain't going to never make it. Oh, was, she was played up. Was your sister a rapper? No, they was talking, no, about they was talking to my brother oh, oh, about oh, being see, like me. Oh, okay, 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 yeah. Like, don't end up like right. Scar. Don't end up like Scar. Right. Then like, she played out. This, that, they just always talking down, but it's like, they did all of that for me to still be something in this world. I'm not the biggest or the best, but... I'm something. I'm in this bitch. I'm in this bitch. I'm a little bit in. Yeah. Bitch, I'm trying to go with it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to be all the way. Listen, I got the do rag on the table, but I'm at the table, you know? <laughs> yeah. He said, I'm trying to be all the way in, man. Yeah. Now nah, you're doing your you're thing. You're on the way. Yeah. You're on the way, I'm trying. For sure. You're For sure. So so what's what's like the next big goal, like like coming up? Like what do you? What's the next thing you want? My follow-up. You know what I want? My soul desires. <laughs> I want to... <laughs> I just want another hit song. I have a hit yeah. song. Okay. I have a great record. Oh, I have multiple home. records. Oh, it's coming soon. 
Yeah. So when she can you drop? Yourself. What what's the like do you know when, when So it's about the really, really soon. Yeah, when you gonna let the, when you gonna have your fans stop waiting, they waiting. Yeah, they yeah. waiting like, they waiting, yeah. they like it's called drop. It's called I got drop. them. Yeah. They right. know if it's one thing they know I got shit. Yeah. Don't think I just don't please don't think I just got one song. Yeah. I got hella shit. Yeah. Nah, you got that shit. Got that shit. Y'all gonna see. Yeah. She telling y'all. Y'all gonna see. <laughs> All right, so we we uh, we got into your life. We asked you questions. Now you can ask some power questions, whatever you want to know. We could get into it, or or did you did we answer? Yo, everything? why did you? <laughs> <laughs> I love how she just goes straight like, into wait. it. Yo, <laughs> like I really want to know why did you agree to violate Lauren like that? Listen, he man. violated, right? Yeah, he didn't even tell me. I didn't tell him. Like, I was damn, trying I to went protect about it a whole you, bro. Way. Like you know the rules. She wore a wire, bro. Come on, I had to protect you. My baby girl, though, man. What? What? If you were right in the show, what? What would you have done with Lauren? I'm curious because everyone thinks they have the right answer for what people should have done. Why no one said anything about it? Like in the in the thing, I seen like. You, if that's your baby girl, you should have knew something was off with her. That's number one, because she was acting real hella weird with yeah, that shit. Yeah, it is shit. your fault. Mm. You should have suspected her that's body. Fair. Her that's body fair. language wasn't all the way there. That's fair. That's fair. Two, when y'all found out, you should have put her to the side, because you know Lauren. You know, I didn't really think Lauren was like that. Like, you got to be, they got to be telling you to do that. So you should have said, Lauren, is why you did that for? What's going on? Because wasn't it a threat or something? No, nah, I was like. I saw boom. Basically, she kind of like got like she got finessed into doing that. She did get finessed a little bit by by um, Jenny Sullivan, right? Yeah, she got finessed. Yeah, but then after, I don't know. She kind of seen where everything was. She was like, "Nah, I'm against all of them." She wanted to go for Ooh. all of them, but then again, Tariq had to, you know, yo, chill. It's not even like that. You feel me? It wasn't even. <laughs> She's me. too like, in love with Tariq. Yeah, he finessed it. You feel me? He he caught her in. The, he like, yo, pull up the bathroom. He had the janitor, that janitor hat. Yo, look, you feel me? Look, I got the voice note, all that. He finessed it, but. You know, things happen, man. Not the baby girl, though. Y'all violated. Y'all violated. I thought she really was dead. Yeah. Is she dead? Y'all did it. <laughs> Y'all did, did it. The thing is, it's like you're thinking, because you saw the finale that just happened, right? Yeah. And where our minds are, we're about, to, our last day for season four is tomorrow. Yeah, so we're, we're already done with season four. So our minds are yeah, that next season a season done. ahead of you right that now. next season is going to be done tomorrow. So when people ask stuff on the podcast, I'm like, Yo, what, what if he left her alive? I ain't going to lie. <laughs> Effie. Who was the last one with her? Effie, right? Yeah, it was Effie. Yeah. I don't think Effie did it, though. Mm. Effie don't like her, but I don't think she did it. Nah, Effie, I don't you know. You think she did it? I'm not saying, I don't know. I'm not saying anything. Wait, so what was the last episode you watched? The season three or watched, season two? I think it was season three. I just remember, this is the last thing I remember. I remember y'all putting her in the trunk. Yeah. She going missing or something. Yeah. Damn. That was, so that was season two. So you have a whole season to catch up. Okay. And then I, I don't want to, that's why I didn't want to say anything because I don't want to spoil anything for you. Mm. But yeah, I ain't going to lie though. It's not looking too good. Yeah. Who who who's your who's your favorite character um, in the power universe? Man. I'm not gonna lie, it is not even because you're right here, but it is Tyreek. <laughs> ah, yeah. I like Tyreek. You're so cool, really? bro. You're so cool. If you could play one character in the power universe, what would it be? I'm the the villain. I want to play the villain that's just always there, fucking some shit up. So you want You would want to be a new character, or would you want to be an existing character? I want to be a new, a new character. <laughs> She's like, fuck yeah. the old shit. Yeah. I, want, I, want, I want my name to be Scarlet in it. Yeah. <laughs> like the biggest, scariest. Scar. Oh, Scarlet. She's a female, but that bitch is a man. <laughs> 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 but that bitch is a man. <laughs> oh, man. Damn, damn. I haven't been laughed this hard yeah. in a long time in an episode. Um, thank you so much for coming on and telling us your story. We'd love to have you back anytime you have music out to promote. Yeah, whenever you drop again, let us yeah. know. You could pull back up. We're going to plug all that. Yeah. We're going to chop it up again. You feel me? But any anytime, anytime you need the boys, we here. Any, anything you want to promote? Yo, make sure y'all listen to my new song, This Is New York. Back the fuck up. Uh, make sure y'all follow me on Instagram at Scar underscore Lip, Facebook at Scarlip, YouTube at Scarlip, SoundCloud at Scarlip, TikTok at Scarlip. And stay tuned. Um, I got some new shit about to drop. Nice. Yeah, and her album almost done. 
album mm, was Scars and Stripes. Ooh, ooh, ooh. that's a good name. I like that. That's album good. almost done. Be on the lookout for that. Um, me, y'all can catch me. Where's twenty two on Instagram, on TikTok, Michael Rainey Jr. on Instagram. Um, Where's twenty two on YouTube, and yeah, we here. You know what I'm saying? Gianni V. Paolo, Instagram, uh, TikTok, YouTube vlogs coming out. We got new merch, um, so check out the merch. Uh, but yeah, the boys is cooking with the pod this summer. You yeah, know, we, cooking we, up, man. we might got an actor strike, writer strike. This episode will come out in a couple weeks, so we don't know really what's happening. But the boys, the pod's going up, so going that's crazy, just man. what it is. We're going crazy, man. Yeah. We're going crazy. Michael, give us one. Listen, baby, the crew has it, you heard? The crew has it. Man. Thank you so much, Scarlett, for coming in. Thank you guys for having me. Hell yeah, that was fun. <laughs> Yo, you bad funny. <laughs> she said, I'm trying to get all the way. <laughs>